Shazam, he met with him 19 times. So think about the, the pattern here. First, it was Tony Bobulinski, another business partner, who was an eyewitness before the campaign a year and a half ago, who told us that he had met with Joe Biden. So you got one business partner meeting with Joe Biden. You got Joe Biden firing the Ukrainian prosecutor mm -hmm. who was beginning to look into Burisma, the company Hunter Biden was on the board, uh, for who was on the board. And now you have Joe Biden 19 times meeting with another business partner. But he said, oh, I had nothing to do with it. We, we, we know that wasn't true. We know that he, when he said he, his son had nothing to do with uh, with companies with interest in China. Uh, as I said a week ago, there are 4.8 million reasons why that statement was not accurate. So as this thing begins to unravel, we learn more and more. And oh, how this story has changed. Remember, a year and a half ago, it was first the, the, the laptop wasn't real. Then it was, well, there, there was a laptop, but it was Russian disinformation. And then it was, well, no, it really wasn't Russian disinformation, but Joe had nothing to do with it. And now it is Joe had something to do with it, but he didn't do anything wrong. But each fact we keep learning seems like he was really involved with this entire family enterprise. Let's talk about Twitter because it could be a done deal sometime this week uh, if Elon Musk uh, buys Twitter. House Republicans, and I know you're included yeah. in this, you sent a preservation notice. You want them to hang on to all of their records that involve this takeover. Why is that? Well, I think there are three reasons why I hope that this thing goes through. The first is I think this deal looks like it's good for the shareholders. Second, it's good for free speech. It's good for the First Amendment if this will go forward. I mean, you got these fact checkers who, are, who seem to be censoring conservatives all the time on Twitter, scaling back and, and throttling back Twitter messages and posts. Uh, that seems to be happening all the time. And then I think the, 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 the third reason is um, I think Twitter thinks that if we take the majority, we may investigate. Uh, so that's why we sent the, the, the notice out there. We want this to be done in the, in the right way, what's good for shareholders. And, and the American people want it done in a way that's good for the First Amendment. We are tired of this, this throttling back and attacks and, and censorship of conservative posts and conservative thought. Twitter and some of these other social media platforms, as we all know, that is now the public square. That's where debate happens. And it always seems to me that they go after conservatives on these platforms. That needs to end. Let's have a fair referee. Let's, let's have a referee who calls balls and strikes, who doesn't call the game for one side. Let's let the debate happen. That's all we've ever asked for. I hope that's the direction it goes. And it looks like it may be moving that way.